بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. Okay, before watching this video, you should go back to watch video number two because in there I discuss the reference point or the standard reference point because you've got to, you've got to establish the reference point before you actually, before you can actually do the rock climb. Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to diagnose gene possession in someone or yourself. Okay, so again, get um, into a comfortable position. Okay, um, establish a reference point. Then you wait, obviously, again for five minutes. And then you're going to start the rock here. Okay, here, what you're going to use, you're going to use sort of NAS, sort of NAS, and the last IO sort of NAS, that's what you're going to use, okay? So, let's start. And remember, you have to be beseeching Allah, you really want to know the answer here, yeah? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas, maliki nas, ilahi nas, min shabir waswas ilkhan nas, aladhi waswas ufi suhur nas, min al-jinnati wal nas, min al-jinnati wal nas, Min al jinnati wal nas. Now you repeat that ayah again for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, you re repeat that ayah for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, now what could you feel while you're reading that ayah? Sometimes while you're reading that ayah, especially when you come to min al jinnati wal nas, that min al jinn, that jinnati, you find that people start shaking at that point. That's where they actually mean a jin that you want nas, mean a jin that you want nas, mean a jin that you want nas. They have a significant reaction there at that point. Okay? Um, so, any sort of reaction where you're moving, that means there's a jin there. Okay? The person's possessed. Okay? You have a jin inside you. Um, you might not actually move around. There might not be any movements. You might just get a severe headache. Okay? Or a, a very bad stomach ache. Or you might feel very hot or very cold. It doesn't really matter. Once you get a significant reaction, it means you've got gin inside you. Why? Because that's what your intention is. You're beseeching Allah, you're asking Allah specifically, you're going to show me if I've got gin possession. So you didn't feel nothing at the beginning, at the reference point, you start the ruqya and you feel very cold while you're doing the ruqya, or very hot, or you feel like vomiting. That's enough. You don't necessarily have to start shaking. To prove that you've got gin possession in you. No, you might not be shaking, you might not shake. Okay? You might just have a severe headache. That's enough for us to know that you've got gin possession. 